give you some information about some of the what we refer to as a full arch or full jaw options now. Typically this is when somebody's either wearing a denture, be that complete denture, a partial denture if you have some teeth or all your teeth missing, um, or your teeth are gradually becoming broken down through um, gum disease, uh, through decay or, or general wear on your teeth. Now, the most popular option um, is that people would like to have fixed, what we would refer to as fixed teeth again. Now, this is a very popular option. As you can see here, it's a horseshoe shape. Um, there's no palate, there's nothing covering the roof of your mouth. So you don't have the issues of um, taste problems. Um, and it feels as close to natural teeth um, as can possibly achieve with a, with a full jaw of implants. And what we can actually do with this in our most ideal way of doing it is when we can actually either have some teeth to take out or if, if you've already had that done is where we can put implants in generally in the morning and then in the afternoon we can fix some teeth for you and um, we refer to that as fast and fixed teeth in a day now very very popular option and that would be a temporary bridge um, something that we would last for, for a few months for you we would then look to make something um, that we call the, the definitive bridge um, where we really go through some, a lot of the smile design and, and really get something looking exactly the way you would like it. So that's option one. Real benefit of that is, you know, fixed teeth. Um, you can chew, you can smile, you can just go on with your life. Um, and, and you are a really fantastic option if you are either missing or, or beginning to lose um, quite a few teeth. Option number two is what we call a telescopic bridge quite often referred to as a conus or a syncone. Now, this is something that is removable. Now, it only comes out on command. It will not come out when you're speaking, it will not come out um, when you're eating and socialising with your friends. The benefit of this is it has, again, it has the, the relief on your palate, so you don't have something, you don't have that plate covering over the roof of your mouth. Um, and, but it's removable, so where we've had people who have had a history of gum disease, maybe have a challenge of, of cleaning their teeth, um, for whatever reason, uh, being removable is very, very easy to keep nice and clean. The small posts, you just clean these um, as if they were teeth, and it's very easy to remove the bridge um, to clean underneath it. So a very, very good option. It's also really good for those who feel that when they take their denture out, um, that if you feel there's not enough support for your lip, um, you feel that your face is maybe looking a wee bit collapsed in, we can bulk areas up that help support your face a bit more. Um, we can't do that with fixed teeth because it'd be impossible to get it down and, and clean underneath it. But with something that's removable, you can take out the clean. So a fantastic option, works very, very well, um, behaves and functions very much like your fixed teeth um, with the benefit of being able to take it out. Um, but, you know, people tend to prefer something that's fixed in place, but I, again, a, a great option and really, you know, can really change um, how you can socialise and be with your friends and, and, and live your life without having to, to worry about dentures moving about or, or teeth breaking down and becoming painful. So that tends to be the, our second most popular option. Our third most popular, again, is a, is a denture option, but it's an, what we call an implant retained denture. Now, an implant retained denture involves where we have on the bottom jaw generally between two and four implants, um, and then the, the top jaw between four and six implants. Now. We have our denture here, you can just maybe see these small white inserts and essentially this just kind of clips into place and you can see once it clips in it's nice and, and rigid in place. The, the downfall of this, not a downfall because it's still a very good option and a significant improvement in comparison to a traditional denture wear is that there's still a little bit of rock and a little bit of movement. We also have these inserts in here and over a bit of time, um, a bit like the wear and the tyres on your car, they will get a bit of wear on them and it won't be held in quite as well. These are are, are very quick and, and easy to replace and are, are not expensive to replace. So there's a wee bit of components in there that can wear down um, or will wear down a little over time. Um, um, but essentially we still have a great option. So, you know, a real problem for people is particularly for the, you know, those who've had dentures since they were in you know, their, their 20s. You know, the way dentistry was, was, was typically done a number of years ago, people wear a, a lower denture for a long time. They just can't tolerate it. They feel that it's juggling. Um, you know, it affects your confidence, you're not eating out with your friends, you're not socialising, is that we can generally get a couple of implants in the bottom and make a significant improvement for them and really everything just clips into place um, and lets you get on with your life and, and function with a denture the way you can. So if you are interested in finding out more about these options, we really need to see each individual to determine what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you, you want to achieve through your treatment. So give us a call, um, come in and see one of our smile advisors and um, they'll be able to go through some options for you and see if, if that's along the right lines of what you're looking for. If you decide that you're happy with some of those options, um, then we would get in with one of our dentists um, and they would go through what we call a full assessment where they would look at everything, 
take some x-rays, possibly take some scans depending on, on what's going on um, and then dis discuss everything so that you realise that everything's been road mapped out before you decide that you're happy enough um, to go ahead. So,